Does it meet your approval? Oh, Mom, it is beautiful. Thank you so much. It's my wedding day. <laughs> yes, it certainly is. Oh my gosh, it's amazing how fast this is all coming together. Well, we could postpone it for a day or two what? if you'd like. No. No, no, no. I have waited long enough. And so has Liam. Today, we are going to stand at that altar and exchange vows. And tonight, tonight is our honeymoon. Okay, okay, I'm going to go upstairs and go get ready. Mom, none of this would have happened without you. Thank you so much, I love you. Go on, Aunt Katie and Aunt Donna are upstairs waiting. Okay, I will, thank you for everything. She still doesn't know. That Steffi hasn't signed the annulment papers? No, she doesn't know. Logan, don't you think that all this is just a little bit risky? If she doesn't sign, but she's going to. She has to. You are going to convince her. We're running out of time. It's only been a couple of days. Their marriage is over. Hope and Liam are ready to move on with their lives together, and Steffi is standing in their way. She's taking advantage. She's in pain, Brooke. She made it very clear that she was willing to wait this out. And you know what that means. With Hope's position with abstinence, Steffi's gonna do what she normally does and use her sexuality to entice Liam. Oh, come on, Brooke. You know it's a lot more complicated than that. <sighs> okay. Well, maybe it is. But regardless, Hope and Liam are getting married today. And Steffi is going to sign those annulment papers today. Please, Rich, you're the only person who could get through to her. We need you to help us. Don't let her ruin this for Hope once again. Ever. Oh. Well, the waiting is over, sweetie. You and Liam are gonna start your new life today. And nothing is gonna come in the way of that. <laughs> this looks incredible, Mom. You must have been up all night. <sighs> I didn't get much sleep last night. You're that excited, huh? Well, it's my daughter's wedding, and I just want it to be everything that she ever dreamed of. Yeah, well, nothing's gonna prevent that, right? I hope not. Mom, is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Everything's gonna be perfect today. Well, well, look at you, looking sharp. Wow. The room looks great. You know, they're uh, setting up in the backyard. I'm just gonna go check it out. He has no idea. No, nobody knows. Just Ridge, me, you. How are, are we gonna do this? Steffi is going to sign those annulment papers. Ridge is going to see to it.
Let me get a look at you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Cut it out. She's gorgeous. And what do you see her in the dress? Yeah. Uh, my little sister. Liam is going to be a great brother-in-law. Just as long as he's a great husband. He will be. <laughs> the ever-protective brother. Oh, and you two aren't? I've got some Logan in me, too. Which reminds me about the name. The name? What? What about it? Hope Spencer. Are you sure you're okay with it? I think it's got a really nice ring to it. Okay, okay, <laughs> enough, enough. We, we've got to get yes, ready. Uh, uh, now, before I give her some advice. About what? What? The honeymoon, of course. Oh, is there a room I can use to get ready, Mrs. Forrester? Yes, Reverend. Upstairs, first room to the right. Thank you. We are cutting this close. Ridge will come through. Well, maybe we should tell her. No. You know? I, I know you don't want to disappoint Hope, but Ridge is going to get Steffi to sign those annulment papers, and then you and Hope are going to have the most beautiful wedding. I know how much you want this for her. Almost as much as you do, Liam. Hope adores you. Well, what, what if Ridge doesn't get through to her? I mean, Steffi has made it abundantly clear that she's not up for an annulment. Let's not think that way. You and Hope belong together. And you'd already be married if Steffi hadn't intervened. You're going to have a beautiful wedding. I want that for my daughter. It's going to work out. Ridge will make sure. I really blew it this time, didn't I, Dad? Oh, well, sweetheart. No, I messed up. I didn't want to lose them. So I did things I shouldn't have. Things I should have known that would drive them away. I just can't believe how I handled myself. It was a very complicated, difficult situation. I just don't know why I've been so insecure. That isn't who I am. Loved him, Steffi, and Liam loved you. But he also had very strong feelings for Hope. I'm not surprised that you would feel insecure. You know what, Hope is a sweet girl, but he needs someone to challenge him. He needs me. Okay, now you worry me when you talk like that. What? Sweetheart, Liam has made a decision, and as hard as that is, you have to accept it. I do. I'm not going to fight him. Look, I, I did that before, and look where it got me. If Liam wants to be with Hope, I won't stand in his way. But I'm not going to give him an annulment. don't need honeymoon advice, especially from my big brother. <laughs> Your sister is marrying a wonderful man and nothing is going to go wrong today or tonight, so just be happy for her. I am. I go away to Europe. I leave a pretty teenage sister behind. I come back and now look at you, bride-to-be. I want nothing but the best for you, sis. And if you tell me that that's what you're getting from Liam, I'll believe it, but don't think that I won't be keeping my eye on things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want this to be a day my daughter never forgets. Wish Ridge would get back. My husband will not disappoint us. <laughs> If Hope only knew what's at stake here. Well, I'm glad she doesn't. I don't want anything to spoil this for her. Hey, you're already here. Oh, honey, I don't think Liam's supposed to see you before the wedding. Oh. Liam, are you superstitious? I'm not. 
neither am I. All right, then we have nothing to worry about. No, no, nothing at all. Hey, um, uh, where's your dad? Uh, I, he won't be attending. I, I, I kind of figured he wouldn't. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back upstairs, finish getting dressed. I'll be up in a minute, honey. Okay. Look at you. You are superstitious, aren't you? You look worried. <laughs> Don't be. Liam, I am all yours. The life that we have been talking about and dreaming about it starts today. I'll see you at the end. Bridge doesn't come through, she's gonna be devastated. So you haven't signed the papers? No. Not yet. Hope thinks you signed them, Steffi. No one told her? She's already made an announcement today that she's getting married. But she can't. Not if I don't sign. Exactly. She doesn't want to make him wait. Now that she's made yet another pledge of abstinence until marriage. Steffi, don't take advantage of that, I'm please. not. Hope has her principles. Believe it or not, I respect them. But I have my principles too. An annulment means a mistake has been made, that the marriage was meaningless, that it was invalid. I understand all that. What Liam and I shared was real. It wasn't a lie. It wasn't a mistake. We loved each other. And we still do. We knew exactly what we were doing. We wanted to be husband and wife. No, I'd be lying if I signed those papers. I would be admitting everything that Liam and I shared. It was, it was fraud. It was a lie and it wasn't. No, you know what? I won't demean a marriage that meant everything to me by pretending it never happened. That's what an annulment does. Honey, I get where you're coming from. But Liam has made his position very clear. He wants to end the marriage. Then he can give me a divorce, a simple, Easy divorce, no property settlement, no nothing. But that takes time. Why make him wait? So he doesn't make the same mistake twice. Liam and I shouldn't have rushed into marriage. Yes, we were ready. Yes, we loved each other. But he still had unresolved issues with Hope. And now he has unresolved issues with me and he wants to rush into another marriage. No, that's not good for Liam and it certainly isn't good for Hope. Hope feels very differently about that. Well, she's not thinking clearly. Hope is waiting in our living room right now, thinking she's gonna get married today. She has a wedding dress, a minister, a groom. Sefi, do you know what that's gonna do to her? Ugh, oh, why? Why did she have to make this announcement? Because she didn't think there was gonna be a problem. She didn't think, period. She just wanted to get a ring on Liam's finger. Well, can you blame her after everything she's been through? Steffi, do you really want to devastate her this way? And what, what about Liam? Those two have made up their minds. If you stand in their way, then it's just going to be a huge crushing blow to both of them. Honey, it's time to stop this. You've got to let go. Move on. There's somebody else out there for you. God knows they're probably lining up already. My biggest fan. There is someone out there for you. Someone who will love and appreciate you even more than Liam. I don't want you waiting for him, Steffi. I don't want you waiting for any man. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to be loved for the beautiful, creative woman that you are. Please don't settle for less. And don't waste your time for something that just may never happen. 
love him, Dad. I love him. And I don't know if... if I'll ever love anyone again. Hope is almost ready. You want me to help you put that on? Oh, no. No, that's okay. I, I want my husband to be the first one to see me wearing it. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> Your little girl's getting married today. <laughs> yes. Hey. Yes, she is. Save those tears for the I do is okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, do you want to just wait just for a little while? Well, then... No, I mean, you know, it's, it's nothing wrong with a bride being late to her own wedding. No, no, waiting is not what today's about. I want to get married. My beautiful shining star. <laughs> oh, Mom, we have been through so much together. And you were there for every step. Oh, Mom, I'm so happy. Everyone, we are about to begin. Okay, we have to tell them. We can't go through with this, bro. You are getting married today. Rich will be here with the annulment papers. Go. 